seeing how well the previous map tutorials did, I'm going to do another one. Make up that mess of an uploading that I did earlier. I do apologise for that. But I know you like map tutorials, so we're going to do one of those. Now, the next one I hope to cover is how to make your own city, country, and take jobs from that own city and country. It's going to be pretty in-depth. I will go more into it hopefully next week when I can figure out how exactly I'm going to get my head around doing it because it's quite a lot of work to do in a video so it might not be all in one take it'll be um videoing a bit here pausing a video and then restarting it when I've got the files I need to get and then I'll show you how to get them and edit them etc so to start off let's open the editor there it is we'll move because I've shrunk the screen yep you're approximately two right click and run as admin be granted with this, greeted with it, sorry, not granted. At the top, item type, go down to road. Press E. And then click and drag. Click to finalise and escape to finish it. Zoom out the scroll wheel. Press M. And then drag it up a little bit. C to change the camera view and use W A S and D to move it around. Now when you have a map, it's all well and good to have a nice long road. But what's a road without people and animals maybe? You know you're gonna need those. So you come down and click mover. Now for some reason it never opens up properly, so go to uh, you know, anything buildings for example. Click on the magnifying glass, and then from here you choose Mover. Let's take Angry Man, so double click, and then click to place him. As you can see, he's inspecting the car, very angry indeed. As you can see, he moves. He is a mover. He doesn't have a path. You can drag him wherever you like, rotate him. back to the content browser let's choose bicycle man all oh. now this one does have a path so you click once you'll see this little line and then click here or wherever you like and as you see he follows that pink path when he gets to the end he'll loop around all over again let's see to change the camera view and zoom in a bit. Now we can take this, press E. Actually, that's going to create another one. Okay, I might get rid of that with Control and Z. E to make it appear. Click, drag, click, drag, click, drag, click, and repeat. Drag, click, drag, click, and press escape to finalize. As you can see, he follows this pink line. Slowly, but he's getting there. Maybe he's old, who knows. As you can see, they move along that line. Hence, the movers. Do one more to show you quick. Let's choose um, a dog woman. So click on that. Click at one point and click and drag another and another point and another. As you can see, a woman with a little dog follows the line, wherever you set it. Can't see it because of the grass, but from here to here. And then she'll go from here up to the top and then back again. Just like that. A little rat on a lead if I ever saw one. Now next up we are going to be going over the brush tool. So we're going to make these roads a little bit longer. Wider, sorry, not longer. 
Well, the terrain will be longer anyway, so press P, click on the node, and terrain size, let's make it 100 here, and on the right hand side, 100. So terrain size here will be 100, and terrain size here will be 100, and click OK. Now press V, and you'll enter vertex manipulation. Each of these blocks can be painted individually. As you know, I've shown you vertex manipulation in the past. There's not, it's not really too in-depth. It's purely moving these points. So if we click it, we can move it around. Just like that. If you make a mistake, Control and Z, and it goes back. So press V. Let's say we don't want grass. Let's use these two here. We don't want them to be grass. Click on brush or press B to bring up your select brush option. I've already used these in the past. So in your material list, for example, let's choose ground rocky. As you go up to the top, easy to find it. Um, Asphalt.mat, everyone should have asphalt.mat. I don't believe it's relying on a DLC. So double click or just click it once, should be enough. And then in here, it will be highlighted with a pink purplish outline. Click and click. Now you may notice the brush doesn't confine exactly to the dimensions of that pink box. And I'll show you how to fix that. Control Z and Control Z again. And close this now. Press B. As you see under hints, hold alt is a hard brush edge. So I'll show you one here without a hard brush and then I'll show you one with a hard brush. So this is without, you can see it goes outside the bounds of that box. Now if we hold the alt key and left click, it stays within the boundaries of that box. Drop down so you can see how precise it is inside the boundaries up here and outside the boundaries. So again, left click, outside the boundaries, hold left alt and click inside the boundaries. As simple as that. So that's movers and the brush tool. I was, uh, what we need to do, traffic tool next. I hope it works on this road. If not, I will change it to a road that I know it works on. So we click traffic tool, access and spawning. I don't think we can spawn it on this road. Okay. Give me one minute and I will change the road type. Oh yeah, no traffic, that makes sense. Um, do -ba -do -ba -do. Let's just go. Yeah, okay, that'll do any road. Germany, for example. Right, so click traffic tool. Click access and spawning. As you can see, you have the arrows indicating which way and where your traffic will be spawning. So let's go on the left, and that's where they start. Click, 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 etc. You may notice they're going pretty fast. No speed limit. What we need to do is add a speed limit sign. And item type, click sign and press E. I think this is my old sign I made before actually. Click on the magnifying glass, close this box. With sign selected, for example, type in 30 MPH. I don't know why that's not bringing it up. Uh, that's annoying. Speed, is that it? Okay, there we go. It's not MPH, it is speed. So type in speed and you'll get that. For example, let's choose speed limit 40 or anyone, let's say speed limit. Uh, let's choose speed limit 30, which is a British one. Double click on that. Place it anywhere you want on the road edge. Rotate with R key. Like that. 
and let's move it up a little bit. Now back onto the traffic tool. Without a click, access and spawning, sub mode is spawn. Now watch the traffic, and I really hope this works. It should do because I've done it before, but you never know. Click it at the beginning. And as you can see, the traffic then slows down with the brakes, or it should do. Try that again with the traffic tool. If you notice how fast they go here to when they hit the sign, you just look on the left here. Very quick, go down when they hit the sign, they go to 30. And that's how uh, speed limits work in ETS2 and ADS. A few more just for fun, very quick, and they slow down when they approach a sign. They will stay going 30 mile an hour until they hit a road with a high speed limit or without a speed limit sign. So that's pretty much it for that video, not a long one. But we've learned how to put movers in, how to do the brush for editing terrain, and how to use the traffic spawn tool, as well as how to control the speed limit of traffic on any road segments. Hope that's been useful, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I hope it was better than the last upload. And I'll see you next time when hopefully, I'm not going to promise, but I will try and get a video done about making your own country and city. As I said, it's going to be pretty long-winded. We'll have to do it in bits and bobs. Um, I'll get there eventually. Enjoy. Thanks for watching, and go and give it a try yourself. I'll see you later.